Hey, what's going on guys? Jay's Two Cents here, and I'm gonna answer the question that I have been asked over and over and over again. What mic do I recommend for podcasting, live streamers, and people who want to record audio? Well, today we're gonna be taking a look at the legendary Blue Yeti, all thanks to MassDrop. If you're looking at starting up a stream or a YouTube channel or something, this is where you kind of want to start. Actually, this is where I started my YouTube channel with, uh, I think, my third video. I went out and bought a Blue Yeti, and I still have it, actually. But we're taking a look at a brand new one right here, out of the box, sent over by Mass Drop. So make sure you guys head on over there, sign up. It's entirely free. Link is in the description. So huge shout out to Mass Drop. Thanks for sponsoring today's video. Now, I don't get a kickback or anything on any of those sales. Just want to put that out there. This is just a free giving back to the community for you guys. Now, the Blue Yeti, as you can see, it's, it's, it's not blue. That's just the company name. But the Yeti is a legendary microphone. It has been around for a while, and it is definitely one of the go-to microphones if you ask anyone about good audio for YouTube. Now, what makes it really nice is the fact that it is a USB interface mic. It's entirely plug and play. Windows will pick it up regardless of what version of Windows you're using. You can couple it with a free program like Audacity, which as you can see is running right now. And you can be up and running with some amazing quality audio. But it's got a lot of different functions on there. It's not just a microphone. In fact, if you take a look at the bottom of this thing, it actually has a headphone monitoring jack on there so that you can hear all the audio that you're recording as you record it. So you can tell if there's too much background noise, you can tell if there's uh, terrible hissing, or if your levels or gains are way too high. And it also has standard threading on there for things like a mic boom or a desk stand or something. So you guys can get it custom mounted up however you want it. And as I mentioned, it is a USB interface. So it's got that right there, the USB cable, plenty long to reach pretty much anywhere on your desk. Now, as you can see here, it is also rotatable and it's got a pretty decent stand with rubber feet on the bottom, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And on the back, you can see we've got some knobs and dials and things. We'll talk about those in a second. Now, one of the things that I think I get asked most common about this mic is how do you set it up to get amazing audio? Well, guys, it's actually really simple. The way I set mine up on the back is I go just a little bit past halfway on the gain and make sure you are on a cardioid pattern. That's the one that looks like an upside down heart. You've got stereo, which is left, right, You've got a circle, which is omnidirectional. That's where it's gonna pick up everything around it equally. You've got cardioid, which is where it's only gonna pick up the sound signatures for what's right directly in front of it, and it's gonna cancel anything behind it. And then you have got interview mode. Basically, that means it's gonna pick up equally anything in front of it and anything behind it. So if you're trying to do some sort of an interview or something, you set this directly between you and your subject at equal distances, and you'll get equal audio. So kind of like a two channel audio thing, you can flatten it in post and get equal sound. So that's what makes this microphone so freaking legendary is the fact that it has all of those functions built in. Most are either gonna be a cardioid or an omnidirectional or maybe both. Very, very few microphones at this price point give you all of that. Now one of the newbie mistakes I see people make with the Yeti is they do this. They talk into the top of it. Well, the Yeti is a side address microphone. And what that means is you want to talk to the label. Now, another thing that makes it really neat, especially for streamers, is it's got this mute button right here. If you touch it to mute, you can see it starts flashing. That means your mute is active. And if you're a solid red, that means that you are then recording audio. As you can see here with Audacity going, if we push that and it's flashing, now you can see we have flattened out on there. We are no longer actually recording any audio. If we hit that again, now we are recording audio once again. You have a control knob on the front here, or a volume knob to control the monitor so that if you're listening to the actual microphone, you can hear uh, what you're recording, as I mentioned earlier. But it takes it one step further because the computer will actually recognize the Blue Yeti as a sound card. So not only will you hear yourself, you will also hear your game or your system sounds, because you can go right into the system sound settings like I have set up right here. And if you go to playback, you will actually see, oops, I'm still in the settings there. You will see under playback that the speakers, Yeti stereo microphone, 
and you can turn this thing into a sound card. So whatever headphones you have plugged into the three and a half millimeter jack on the bottom also becomes your reference sound and speakers and headphones. So for streamers, that's a huge deal because it means you can hear your game and you can hear yourself so you're not screaming like a lot of streamers do when they put on headphones because of the active noise canceling or even just noise isolation built into many headphones, you're not gonna be screaming. Now this wouldn't be much of a microphone test if I didn't actually let you guys hear the microphone. Now I wanna point something out here. I'm recording it in Audacity right now. I'm not gonna be doing any post-processing, no compression, no noise removal, exactly as it is in the room right now. Skunkworks is running, we are recording here. It's on the desk, no shock mount and I have a fan running over there blowing at me because I'm fat and I get hot pretty easy with all the lights in here. So through the magic of editing, let's go ahead and switch over to the Yeti. All right guys, now I'm talking to you here on the Blue Yeti on the cardioid pickup pattern. Now the Blue Yeti is pretty damn legendary if you ask me because it can pick up all sorts of vocal ranges. Even if you start to get really low like Arnold and get very really into it and very mad and angry, it'll pick it up. But as you can hear, unfortunately, the bass starts to get a little bit peaky, get a little bit cut off, and you start to hit clipping. So, yeah, unfortunately, it does not have any sort of built-in uh, compression in there, so you don't, or limiter in there, so you don't start getting too peaky or, as I mentioned, clipping. So um, you guys are going to have to do some tuning on there. Now, for my settings, I am running the microphone properties in Windows at 70 with the mic gain on the mic just a little bit past halfway, as I've already mentioned. Now the cardioid pickup pattern is good for interviews, or excuse me, for dialogue. Like I mentioned, if we talk to the back of it, it's gonna sound a little bit echoey and distant because it turns off that part of the pickup pattern. Now let's go ahead and check out the uh, interview. Now, as you can see with me talking to the back of it, it's gonna hear me a lot more clear. It's also going to hear me pretty damn good from the front. And from the side, it's going to sound uh, quite a bit more muffled. Now, if we pick up the Omni, whoop, cardioid. Now, if we pick up the Omni directional, we can talk all the way around it, and it's going to sound the same. Well, with the exception of the handling noise. And then you have stereo. If I talk to it from the front, I'm equally in both of your ears, if you're wearing headphones. Headphone users, I'm going to apologize. This is about to get very weird because now I'm in the right side of your head. Now I'm in the left side of your head. Now I'm just in your head. All right, we're back on the cardioid, so I figure we will just go ahead and la end with one of the cons of this microphone, and that is even though it's a big giant thing, it does not actually have any sort of shock mount capsule built into it. So that means tapping on the desk. Yeah. It picked up every bit of that. If you're a gamer or you're a streamer and you get mad and you bang your desk, it's pretty terrible. So I highly recommend getting yourself the blue Yeti shock mount for it and putting it on a desk boom or something like that and getting it off your desk. These little rubber feet on the bottom don't do crap for it. In fact, if I just put my hand on the microphone, you hear that? Yeah, yeah, you hear that? It starts to, get, it starts to sound a little bit handily. But anyways, there you go, guys. Jay's Two Cents taking a look at the Blue Yeti from Mastrop. And as always, guys, check out the forums. The forums are up and running. It's actually turning out to be a pretty damn big community. We've already got nearly 2,000 people signed up in just a few days, and it's actually pretty active. I'm happy to see that. Those forums are a good place for us to grow a community and help each other out in PC tech and all of that goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, and we're going to get a little bit crazy here. Maybe we'll talk. We'll do a little Barry Manilow. Or not. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one.